All right, you guys, this is the second part to the video that I recorded earlier. I'm Austin Holloman, and today I'm gonna tell you guys why you should not, and I really mean this, you should not come to Salvador Bahia, Brazil, for your first trip to Brazil, okay? There are two major hotspots in Brazil. I've only been to one of them. One of them is Rio de Janeiro. The other one is Sao Paulo, Brazil. Okay, Rio's, I think Rio's gonna be more visited than Sao Paulo. When people think of Brazil, they think of Rio. And there's a reason why everybody starts in Rio, okay? More than likely, if you watch my videos, you may want a wife from Brazil, but you're gonna start off with the hookup culture. Guys, do not come, let me tell you about that. Do not go, especially to Brazil, do not go to any country on this shit like, oh, I'm gonna, uh, find me you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go straight down and get in a serious relationship right away you gonna get your ass green carded used up and milk dry i promise you because they are out the women that will use you they're not the majority out here but they know how to find you and they can sense it a mile away so what i'm telling you to do is when you come down here to any city in brazil date date to smash first and then if she you know if she seems to qualify then do it but we're not doing no 90 day rule that no i'm trying to tell y'all but hey if you want to get your ass used up and milk dry for your bank account and citizenship and all that go ahead you love it i love it actually i don't love it now you should not come to salvador by here number one for your first trip to Brazil because there is not hookup culture here, okay? If you decide to spend two weeks in Brazil, in Rio, for the first city, you can run through a, a lot of women pretty easily there. It, it's, it's more of a tour zone and that area just has hookup culture. I don't know how to describe it, but what this does is this leaves you with a more satisfied feeling about the country. Because if you come to Salvador Bahia, you'll grade the entire Brazil based off Salvador Bahia. And that Salvador Bahia is for someone like me. Now, and I'm not saying everybody that comes to Salvador Bahia is gonna have, you know, a dry spill or not have the same success that I brag about. Maybe you could be a certain type of guy, but coming to Salvador Bahia, you're not, don't come down here thinking not knowing any Portuguese, not knowing anything about the culture, being a first timer in the country, that you're just gonna be running through women. I have yet to find one person that didn't know much. But again, there's exceptions. I had one person, one person I knew that had success. But if you go to Rio, you don't know any Portuguese, no problem. I mean, here's not so much of a problem, but it's no problem they'll deal with you in Rio. And those women, there's plenty of volunteers in Rio that'll let you run through them. So I advise that. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything and oh, we're not here for hookups. Guys, we are men. Men can bust nuts like all throughout the day. I'm not believing that bullshit that you don't want to come to Brazil to have sex. That's just complete bullshit. You're not coming to a country where the most, that's known for arguably the most beautiful women in the world talking about you don't want to fuck them. Get the fuck out of my, get off my page with that shit. I hate it when y'all say that. Like I said before, English is not here. So the translator works for a little bit, but the patience in, the patience here is not going to be as, as good as it would be in Rio. And I'm still learning Portuguese, right? So sometimes I'll text chicks in Salvador and Sometimes I'll text things in English because I don't have time to use a translator or I'm, I'm doing something I'm just typing, you know, because I didn't know it. And they'd be like, write me this long ass paragraph about why they couldn't just copy and paste and translate it. Look, I understand I'm in your country. I understand I'm speaking your language. I mean, I'm supposed to be speaking your language. I'm also fucking learning your language. So can you help? Can you do me a favor, baby? Can you help me and click the fucking copy and click paste and translate the damn words so you know what I said? But that has happened to me one time in rio but in rio for the most part they go ahead and translate it for you here i don't know what the big deal is but the majority of not the majority there's a there's more women here that have a problem just clicking copy and paste i'm learning portuguese 
okay? I'm learning. I don't know all the words, so sometimes you're going to have to work with me. That's, that's, that's what it is. You don't like it, don't fuck with a gringo then. It's that goddamn simple. This is a simple world we live in. Now, I want to talk about Floyd. Floyd is a guy that came down here to Salvador Bahia for his first trip to Brazil. He didn't know a lick of Portuguese. He left Brazil still not knowing how to say the word without properly, which is same. If you he would order agua same gas, water without gas, he would say agua semi gas. That's that's not how you say it. Or the word yes is seem. He would say semi semi. No, he would say sim sim sim. That's that's not right. Now, Floyd, me, Floyd, Fred, and I, we all had a good time. Okay, we all had a really good time. But I feel, I truly feel like Floyd would have been better off for his first trip to Brazil in Rio. There's a reason that dude gets stuck in Rio, and I was one of those dudes. I went to Rio three times this year, back to back. Well, yeah, three times this year, not back to back, but every time I came to Brazil, I went to Rio, and then I went from Rio to here. Now, the reason dudes get stuck down there is because they have a lot more success. Like I said before, with little English, there's a hookup culture. So Floyd, I feel like, would have had, because when he left Brazil, he said he would rate it that it was all right. And that's because it, he, he doesn't, he, this, is, this is more like an, I would call this an intermediate city, okay? Salvador is intermediate. So I'm just letting you guys know, for you guys that come down here and you think that you you're gonna come down here and just run through women in Salvador. You might get a wake up call. Try that in Rio first. I've never been to Sao Paulo, so I can't speak on it. I da you damn sure I'm not gonna get in Hasife. I can guarantee you that, cause no. But try Rio first, okay? Plus, I don't need all y'all coming down here anyway. It don't matter if y'all come down here because y'all got bad taste. But I don't need y'all coming down here anyway, bumping up on me. It's not that I don't want y'all down here, but I don't need a lot of y'all at the same time. Go to Rio. Take my word for it. Go to Rio. Rio is what changed my life. Salvador did not change my life. Rio changed my life. Then I came to Salvador. If you want to have the same results as I did, follow step by step what I did. Or do your own thing. I mean, you can do what you want. I mean, I don't care. But I'm just here to give you guys advice. So make sure... Do nothing else right now. Make sure you like the Facebook page. Please like the Facebook page right now. The Austin Holland, it'll be in the description and it'll be the first pinned comment. Follow my Instagram, Austin Holloman. Austin Holloman, it'll be in the description, it'll be in the pinned comment. Same as my YouTube name, Austin Holloman. I'm on TikTok as well, Austin Holloman. Follow me before they ban me because they keep, they, they say I got one strike left. They've been saying that for months though. <sighs> My cash app is in the in the description. It's also in the pinned comment if you want to donate. I don't need you to donate, but if you feel like you enjoy this content, feel free to donate and share with your boy. But I appreciate you guys watching. and Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Get your passport. Come to Brazil. Go to Colombia. Go somewhere, but get out of the matrix and escape the United States because it's really that bad. Thank you for watching till the end of the video. Please do me a huge favor and go to my Facebook page. The link is in the description to all the socials I'm about to name. My Facebook page is the Austin Holloman. My Instagram is Austin Holloman. Be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want a good laugh every day at A Groomsman. And I'm also on TikTok as Austin Holloman. I'd appreciate if you follow me on all those accounts that help me keep my content going, keep the message flowing. That way more men can get out of the matrix and come overseas because it's really that bad out here.